the House of Representatives has resolved to investigate the alleged invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja by officials of the Department of State Services, DSS. The House mandated its Committee on National Security and Intelligence, Judiciary and Human Rights to investigate the incident, saying the intelligence agency desecrated the sanctity of the judiciary. The motion was raised by the minority leader of the House, Ndudi Elumelu. Such an action should be completely discouraged. The House is further worried that if this action is not properly put to check, the National Assembly may one day be evaded and the relevant security agencies will claim not knowing who the offenders are. The House is aware that the invasion of the Federal High Court Abuja runs contrary to the avowed assurances of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Further aware that the physical assaulting of Mr. Shore and his co-defendant Bakari by the year to be identified persons inside the courtroom is the highest act of sacrilege against the judicial arm of government and a complete disrespect to the rule of law. We'll refer it um, to the three committees, a Committee on National Security and Intelligence, uh, Justice and Human Rights. Matter referred. The Sultan of Sokoto and President General of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sa'ad Abubakar, has warned that disobedience to any court order is a recipe for lawlessness and chaos. In a veiled reference to the arrest of the revolution now convener Omoyele Shaware by the Department of State Services in violation of a court order, Abubakar stated that everyone must be law abiding in the interests of national development. He gave the warning on Thursday in Abuja at the 2019 fourth quarter meeting of the Nigeria Interreligious Council with the theme Religion and Civil Authorities in Dialogue for Nation Building. Speaking further, the Muslim leader noted that if you are served a court order and you deliberately refuse to obey it because you are a governor, president or any influential person, then you are setting a dangerous precedent.